what's up everybody well as you can tell we got some different wheels on the uh, Range Rover there and they look great and I apologize now I did a video yesterday last night uh, putting those on there testing it against the stock ones all that stuff well then I seen where there was a, an assassination attempt on Trump and I started talking about that in my video and I said some things that YouTube probably would not have wanted me to say in my video or there are some certain words I know they don't like so rather than just try to edit all that out basically I scratched the video because you know I'm not a politic channel anyway that's not what this is about it's just crazy the world's crazy it's crazy and again what all I said yesterday at, at the end the moment probably wouldn't be the best video to upload so Let's just go ahead and start over. So now, before we do that, also, I want to thank all of you guys. Not think, but thank all of you guys that have helped me out. Have bought things through my affiliate link, which don't forget, the link is in the description below. Please go check it out. Because um, I want to show you, even though this is not a high position on the chart of where I'm at for the sales I've made or whatever, okay? I am only about, what was it, $6.25 behind Mark Santa Maria, and he has a big YouTube channel, so that's pretty cool to me. And then I think my first month, I was like number 13 on the list, and I wasn't too far behind RC Sailors, which was really cool. They're a great channel as well. But anyway, if I just sell just like... Uh, couple more dollars i'll be over four thousand dollars worth of merchandise i've helped them with which is really cool to me and six dollars and 25 cent and i'll be tied with mark santa maria that's pretty cool you know what i mean so anyway that's all besides when i just want to say thanks to all of you who watched the videos who have helped me out in any way you have and especially all y'all who use my link to purchase things i really appreciate it and if somebody else goes and spends about, you know, $10 or so, I can be ahead of him just for fun. So, anyway, guys, now I'm getting off topic. And I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos on these. I've been putting a lot of money into my car, trying to get it, rolling good, all that stuff. And speaking of which, check out these items that I'm going to be ordering here real soon for it. I'm going to go ahead and throw a few pictures up for the heck of it because I feel like it. I found me some new window cranks because I need one. Actually, all I need is a little round knob goes in it. But I got these new window cranks coming. I got some really cool lights. Not to mention, if anyone needs some blue light bulbs for their car, I got a 70-piece pack <laughs> coming from Amazon because it was just cheap. It's got all these different type of bulbs in there. And they're blue, obviously, for my car. And the this side, uh, like what i call weed eater string light that stuff's really cool i don't know what i'm going to do with it if i'm even going to use it but i'm going to order it and then i got to get my brake wheel cylinders and all that stuff too and these gauges i have to have the gauges that's my main thing oil temperature and a tachometer you know it's all just a good good deal on amazon so that's why i'm doing it i tried to fix my tachometer it didn't work so now let's get to the rc stuff <laughs> I appreciate y'all bearing with me and supporting the channel. These wheels are just a little bigger, obviously. These are the 1.0, like all the other little trucks have. But these are only 0 0.7. So not even, not even three quarters of an inch, I think. Well, something like that. I don't know what they would be. So anyway, here's the deal, though. I was going to get my scales, I don't know where they're at. I was going to weigh the difference between stock tire and this tire to see how much down low weight I added. That's the only reason I've done this, was to get a little bit of down low weight. I don't have a lot to work with as far as weight, so I figured change the wheels and tires. I do have other ones that are really heavy, but they were just extremely too big. Like these here off of my four-wheeler, real heavy, brass, solid brass wheels, but when I put them on here, they literally, especially on this one, they stuck out the whole width of the tire past the truck. <laughs> the fender was over here. 
So that didn't work for me. But I had some good news when I took these off my four-wheeler. I totally forgot that my good buddy Eric from Eric's RC, he sent me all kinds of goodies when we were building his four-wheeler that went to my four-wheeler. And I totally forgot when I put these tires on there that he also sent me some brass, wheel extension, weight, whatever you call it. And even though they go on the 1.0 wheels, they fit inside of these perfect. I actually had to pop them in there, and they seat perfect. You can even use oops, sorry, the, the brass nut that holds them on. I don't know how much they weigh, but they give me just a little wider stance, and they give me added weight. It's no longer stock all the way. I just wanted to let you guys know, I did a video putting them on there as well. It was in the last one I was talking about. But I just want to let you know that these SCX 24 brass hex weights, whatever you call them, they don't have, the pin goes right into these, as you can see. And then it's got the hex on the other side built in it. These are for axial trucks, and they fit perfect on this truck. So, that is cool. I actually, honestly, 100% believe these tiny tires are going to outperform these tires now that I got the weight. What do you guys think? These are Super Swampers. Super Swamper Boggers, or they are the TSL or something like that. But I'm not going to lie, I've already tested them a little bit on my teeter-totter bridge, and when it's at its steepest angle, they were not getting traction. But they have not been run. They probably could use a little breaking in on the gravel or something. These actually went up it. That was before the weight was added to the truck. It was in three wheel motion. This tire was in the air the whole time. And it made it. Maybe now that tire won't lift in the air with the brass. Because like I said that was not on there before. So we're going to find out real quick on my really hardcore homemade course. Boom! Yeah, that's right. The world's smallest indoor course ever. It's just a little testing ground. That's all this is. It's not a course. Obviously, it's not a course. Please don't say, oh, I love your course. <laughs> it's just a testing spot. This, uh, it's pretty cool to watch the little articulation of the tiny trucks. I have not even drove on these. I just put these here a few minutes ago. Let's spread them out a little bit. It's the teeter-totter. It's not that big of a challenge, but if I remove the tires from the bottom here, it makes it a lot harder to climb. And I don't think the other tires will do it. Ooh, we got a beeping of a battery. And if I remove them from this side, when it comes down, I think the truck will flip off there. So, all right, which one's dead? Uh -oh, I think they both need reset. <laughs> I've had them turned on for a while. So I, I've had them sitting here turned on for a minute. I had to turn them off and back on. There's one more thing I want to mention. Ever since the very first video of these trucks, I have not charged these batteries. I charged them one time at the beginning when I first got them. Put brand new, fully charged batteries in this one. The stock little battery, as a matter of fact. Where does it go? Come on. One of these. Oh, sorry. Uh, 380 milliamp battery comes with these. I put one in there fully charged. This truck, our visor, actually this one has the 380 milliamp. This one, I put one of the bigger 900 milliamps that come out of the 118 scales. I put it in there just to see how much longer it would last compared to that one. And since the day I got these trucks, they are both running on that same charge. 900 milliamp, 380 milliamp, it's still hanging in there. I swear to God, I have not recharged it, period. I have not even taken it out of the truck. I was unplugging it the whole time, and, well, for the last two days, they've been plugged in. I forgot to unplug them. I've done very little testing in here with them, but I've tested them outside. I've drove them. We went out to the river. So one of these batteries should die at any moment, and if that 900 milliamp dies first, I will be blown away. The 380 should definitely go first. So that being said, let's go ahead and just play for a minute. I will go ahead and turn this one off again so it doesn't start beeping. 
and just wait until it's its turn. Save on battery juice. All right. And I have been running the lights pretty much every time. I like my lights. I need back lights on it. But. So now, let's just roll with it. Sorry for making such a long yappity video. So let's just get to action with these new tires. We definitely have more ground clearance. And I climbed the worst spot on this whole thing. Heh. <laughs> A little knot's kind of in a bad spot. It, it uh doesn't have bad flex for such a tiny truck, but like right there, you see how the other tire's completely in here, but she doesn't flip over, comes right back down. Now we're putting the giant logs. <laughs> like it's just a easiest probably obstacle you could ever climb oh come on now Ooh. almost came off the edge there Oops. what are you doing nugget so now I'm gonna see what happens here I don't know at all to be honest I figure at this angle, it should make it up at the tire at the bottom. I don't know. With this part, I, I should have knew better. Oh, I almost was up there. Come on. Sorry, I'm not going to waste a bunch of time. We are just going to put it up there. Now, can we actually make it up this? Should be able to. Okay. We are going to change the angle later, but I barely want to do this. Again, I think if these tires were just kind of warmed up a little bit, they'd get better, but. Good lord, really? That's kind of funny. Ooh, boy. Ah, yeah. Made it. Slid all the way down, but it made it. Alright, should we go back the other way or just, let's just call it there for one minute and switch to the other truck. I am curious to see what this thing does with the brass added because I did drive that truck last night with the white tires, but I did not drive this since I put the brass yet. Honestly, I think it outperformed them other tires without the brass, so... See what happens now. How'd that get moved over there? Yeah, I guess it was supposed to be. I know it's late and kind of dark in here, and I apologize for that. Well, this one's actually flexing out better too. Look at that tire up. Oh man, he used to lift way higher in here. That time was pretty good. I'm loving this little truck, I swear. Still, you can tell the difference in them tiny tires, but oh well. Put it in high gear, I bet I could make it up that right there. Oof. Whole thing's moving, so let's just do it the right way. I'm gonna go ahead and go the same way. Because they both struggled just to get up that. We'll say that much. But watch this. I don't know if it's just because the tires are a little bit more warmed up, but they just walk right up it.
Let's see if it stays without sliding to the bottom when it comes down. I doubt that. No. Well. I still feel like it was a lot better. Now watch this. Let's go for the steepest route. Okay. Without them tires down there, that raises the angle quite a bit. Now coming up the other direction, it will lift that front tire. I don't know about this way. I think the torque twist kind of helps it. I don't know yet. Uh oh. Oh. Tires in the air still. Oh. Had I not stopped, we'd have kept going right on up it. Come on, back up, back up slowly. Ah, we were there. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting that to happen. So now let's do it again. Come on, I should not have stopped. We can't go back in that Oh! <laughs> I still don't think the other truck's gonna have a chance, so. Last try. I think we got it. If I don't stop, we got it. Oh yeah. Now, if I didn't have them down there, it would tumble over as soon as it came down. It would definitely flip. I, I know that for a fact. So. Do not know if there's any chance of coming up this thing. This little bit wider stance is helping me out too. All right. Come on, come on, really? Snagged. Yep, we sure are. Oh well, let's pretend we got a little bit of a winch and go like that. Oh, oh, damn it. So we had to help it for sure there. Them tires just happened to be there and they made it, so that's good. So, you think we can do that again with the other truck? All right, can we get up the teeter totter? Probably be easy, huh? Nope. Oh. <laughs> it won't even attempt to go up at full speed on this. And these are aftermarket tires. Come on now. Again, they are old. Maybe they've just been not used enough yet. Take them phones out maybe, but yeah. Can't even get up the first obstacle? That's rough. So let's go ahead and cheat it. Can we do it this way? Because one direction is steeper than the other. I know that. Uh-oh. We can't even do it this way. Holy crap, that's crazy to be honest. These tires are just like hard plastic. Oh, can we just balance it? Oh, not on my teeter tire, you can't, sorry. I don't know how much I've been missing just now. Will it stay there like that? Oh, kinda. That's a surprise. Got a good turning radius though. When you, when you do turn up the uh, trim, you get a pretty good radius. I'll show you how to get your best location here. You come past, then turn, and let's see. Now maybe rocks is different, let's find out. Ooh, look at this, look at this. Right up the rock. The bigger tire, I think, is what made that happen. Think that was a fluke? That was too good, I'm gonna try it one more time. 
if it goes up that again, that makes up for the bridge sucking. Because most of the time we're not going up popsicle stick bridges, we're climbing on rocks, ain't we? Look at that. Without any strain, okay? Alright, I give him some credit back. I was going to give him some shit, but... Alright. This is supposed to be on rock, not popsicle sticks. So, I guess we're going to take back what some of what we say. Okay, I like that. <laughs> All is forgiven. So anyway, I know this is a really lame, boring video, and it is what it is, yo. I'm going to try that again with the other one. That's how lame and boring this is. Is that kind of man? That's just crazy. No, I know what it is. Those the tires are so small on this one. Oh, oh, oh. They're like. Oh. I feel like at the right angle. They should all do it right. Right there, that back tire hits it just right. If I keep my front tires turned, nope, still slid over. Okay. The only way to do it is to have, to have enough angle to get that back tire up at first. One tire first. Come really steep like this, maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All about driving. The other one definitely did it easier, though. I had to work for it with this one. You think we can make it down this alive? Dang, that was actually pretty easy. And it's not a little jump, I mean. So anyway. These trucks are so fun. I wouldn't be in here making these videos sitting here with nothing else to do if they weren't so entertaining. I'm going to tell you now. I just go watch TV. But they're just fun. I'm telling you. You know what? Well, I don't have a remote or battery over here. I was going to try it out to Ford while I was at it. but So anyway. Yeah. What are we going to do next? Let me know, guys. Do you want to see this thing lowered back down? I have these brass wheels I just took off my four-wheeler that are smaller than the ones that go on here. These are stock tires to this truck. They're already supposed to be big. These are what I was thinking about going ahead and putting on it and, and lowering the, the lift back down. Because these are heavy. I thought about it, but look at that. That's just insane. Never mind. I like my lifted truck. Stop telling me what to do. It's like, anyway. Looks huge next to that truck, doesn't it? Good Lord. This looks like a 110 all of a sudden. Huh. That's crazy. Well, these trucks are still running on the same battery charge. I'm not going to charge it until it dies. I cannot believe it. I don't even know how long I've had them so far, but... And if that little battery outlasts that big battery, I'm going to really be blown away. So anyway, guys, thanks again for all your support. Don't forget, click on the link in the description below. Go check out FMS. Get you something good. It helps out the channel. The next $6.25 ah, $6 will tie me up. Unless he ends up spending a lot more, which he probably will. Or selling a lot more. Not that it matters. It's not a race or anything. I just think it's cool. Because he's got like 130,000 subscribers. I don't even have 4,000 yet. I don't think. So. It is what it is. I don't get that many views or nothing. So. Now I'm just rambling. <laughs>